Hey friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video, we will be discussing important question and answers of different nursing comparative examinations. Guys, let's get started. Here is our first question. 1. The medication nurse is going to give a patient his morning medications. What is the primary action a nurse should do before administering the medications? A. Provide privacy. B. Raise head of the bed. C. Give distilled water. D. Check client's identification bracelet. The answer is option D. Check client's identification bracelet. 2. A new nurse is administering an enema to a patient. The senior nurse should intervene if the new nurse, A, hangs the enema bag 18 inches above the anus, B, positions the client on the right side, C, advances the catheter 4 inches into the anal canal, D, lubricates 4 inches of the catheter tip. The answer is option B, positions the client on the right side. 3. A patient was brought to the emergency room after she fell down the stairs. Which of the following is the best indicator for increased intracranial pressure in head and spinal injury? A. Inability to move extremities. B. Decreased respiratory rate. C. Increase in pulse and blood pressure. D. Decreased level of consciousness. The answer is option D, decreased level of consciousness. 4. Which of the following classes of medications maximizes cardiac performance in clients with heart failure by increasing ventricular contractility? A. Beta adrenergic blockers. B. Calcium channel blockers. C. Diuretics. D. Enotropic agents. The answer is option D, enotropic agents. 5. Toxicity from which of the following medications may cause a client to see a green-yellow halo around lights? A. Digoxin. B. Furosemide. Lasix. C. Metaprolol. Lopressor. D. Enalapril. Vasotec. The answer is option A. Digoxin. 6. What is the most common complication of an MI? A. Cardiogenic shock. B. Heart failure. C. Arrhythmias. D. Pericarditis. The answer is option C. Arrhythmias. 7. What is the first intervention for a client experiencing MI? A. Administer morphine. B. Administer oxygen. C. Administer sublingual nitroglycerin. D. Obtain an ECG. The answer is option B, administer oxygen. The expected yet negative, harmful, result for post-hemodialysis is a decrease in A, creatinine, B, BUN, C, phosphorus, D, red blood cell count. The answer is option D, red blood cell count. 9. After an anterior wall myocardial infarction, which of the following problems is indicated by auscultation of crackles in the lungs? Left-sided heart failure. B. Pulmonic valve malfunction. C. Right-sided heart failure. 
D. A tricuspid valve malfunction. The answer is option A. Left-sided heart failure. 10. Which of the following complications is indicated by a third heart sound? S3. A. Ventricular dilation. B. Systemic hypertension. C. Aortic valve malfunction. D. Increased atrial contractions. The answer is option of ventricular dilation. 11. Which of the following conditions is most commonly responsible for myocardial infarction? A. Aneurysm. B. Heart failure. C. Coronary artery thrombosis. D. Renal failure. The answer is option C, coronary artery thrombosis. 12. What is the primary reason for administering morphine to a client with an MI? A. To sedate the client. B. To decrease the client's pain. C. To decrease the client's anxiety. D. To decrease oxygen demand on the client's heart. The answer is option D to decrease oxygen demand on the client's heart. 13. Which of the following symptoms is the most likely origin of pain the client described as knife-like chest pain that increases in intensity with inspiration? A. Cardiac. B. Gastrointestinal. C. Musculoskeletal. D. Pulmonary. The answer is option D pulmonary. Which of the following is the most common symptom of myocardial infarction? MI chest pain, B dyspnea, C edema, D palpitations. The answer is option A chest pain. 15. Medical treatment of coronary artery disease includes which of the following procedures? A. Coronary arteries bypass surgery. B. Oral medication therapy. C. Percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty. D. C. A. B. G. The answer is option B, oral medication therapy. 16. Which of the following actions is the first priority of care for a client exhibiting signs and symptoms of coronary artery disease? A. Decrease anxiety. B. Enhance myocardial oxygenation. C. Administer sublingual nitroglycerin. D. Educate the client about his symptoms. The answer is option B, enhance myocardial oxygenation. 17. A clinical feature that distinguishes a hypoglycemic reaction from a ketoacidosis reaction is A. Blurred vision B. Diaphoresis C. A nausea D. Weakness The answer is option A, blurred vision. 18. Rotation sites for insulin injection should be separated from one another by 5 cm, 1 inch, and should be used only every A, third day, B, every other day, C.1-2 weeks, D.2-4 weeks.
The answer is option C, one to two weeks. 19. Congestive heart failure and heart failure are the same. True, B, false, C. Sometimes true, D, and none of the above. The answer is option A true. 20. The nurse is admitting a patient diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus. The nurse should expect the following symptoms during an assessment, except a hypoglycemia, b frequent bruising, c ketonuria, d dry mouth, The answer is option A hypoglycemia. 21. Knowing that gluconeogenesis helps to maintain blood glucose levels, a nurse should document weight changes because of fatty acid mobilization, b evaluate the patient's sensitivity to low room temperatures because of decreased adipose tissue insulation, c protect the patient from sources of infection because of decreased cellular protein deposits, d do all of the above. The answer is option D, do all of the above. 22, which is not one of the three types of heart failure, A, right-sided heart failure, B, left-sided heart failure, C, congestive heart failure, D, myocardial heart failure. The answer is option D, myocardial heart failure. 23. The medication nurse is going to give a patient his morning medications. What is the primary action a nurse should do before administering the medications? A. Provide privacy. B. Raise head of the bed. C. Give distilled water. D. Check client's identification bracelet. The answer is option D, check client's identification bracelet. 24. What is heart failure? A. A condition in which the heart stops beating. B. A condition in which the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. C. A heart attack. D. A condition in which the patient experiences chest pain. The answer is option B a condition in which the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. 25. Which of the following can lead to infertility in adult males? A. German measles. B. Chickenpox. C. Rubella. D. Orchitis. The answer is option D, orchitis. 26. A newborn is diagnosed with respiratory distress syndrome. Which position is best for maintaining an open airway? A. Side lying with a towel beneath his shoulders. B. Prone with his head turned to one side. C. Supine with his neck slightly flexed. D. Supine with his neck slightly extended. The answer is option D supine with his neck slightly extended. 27. When caring for a patient who is receiving anticoagulant medications, the nurse must monitor the patient for signs of A. Bleeding B. Skin breakdown C. Pain D. Confusion
The answer is option A bleeding. Which of the following reacts to viruses and bacteria by increasing in number? A. Antibodies. B. Platelets. C. Rh factors. D. Antigens. The answer is option A. Antibodies. A client has just been admitted to the nursing unit following thyroidectomy. Which assessment is the priority for this client? A. Hypoglycemia. B. Edema at the surgical site. C. Level of hoarseness. D. Respiratory distress. The answer is option D. Respiratory distress. 30. A client with a subdural hematoma becomes restless and confused. With dilation of the ipsilateral pupil, the physician orders mannitol for which of the following reasons? A. To reduce intraocular pressure. B. To prevent acute tubular necrosis. C. To promote osmotic diuresis to decrease ICP. D. To draw water into the vascular system to increase blood pressure. The answer is option C to promote osmotic diuresis to decrease ICP. 31. A client admitted to the hospital with a subarachnoid hemorrhage has complaints of severe headache nuchal rigidity, and projectile vomiting, the nurse knows lumbar puncture, LP, would be contraindicated in this client in which of the following circumstances, a, a vomiting continues, b, intracranial pressure, ICP, is increased, c, the client needs mechanical ventilation, d, blood is anticipated in the cerebral spinal fluid, CSF, The answer is option B. Intracranial pressure, ICP, is increased. 32. A healthcare team established a new strategies that helps in prevention of death among cases of a certain disease. But these strategies does not prevent the occurrence of that disease. Which of the following measures reflect the expected outcome? A. Increased prevalence. B. Decreased prevalence. C. Increased incidence. D. Decreased incidence. The answer is option A. Increased prevalence. 33. A multiparous patient on day postpartum is asking the nurse to send her baby to the nursery so she can sleep. What is the most likely phase of psychological adaptation? A. Taking in. B. Letting. Hold. C. Taking go. D. Letting. Out. The answer is option A taking in. 34. A patient is seen in the emergency room for a 20 cm, 7.8 inch, laceration to the right forearm. The course prepares for which type of anesthesia to be administered before the laceration is repaired by the physician? A. Intravenous. B. Regional. C. General. D. Local. The answer is option B regional. 35. The relationship of the site of the presenting part to the location on maternal pelvis refer to a. fetal lie, b. fetal position, c. fetal presentation, d. fetal attitude. The answer is option B fetal position. Thank you for watching.